As many of you will remember, the film Rings, a sequel to the horror film The Ring, was set to hit theaters in just six weeks on November 16th. However, according to a report in Variety, Paramount Pictures has decided to push the film back to an unspecified date sometime in 2016. Ring stars Alex Roas Holt, a young man who begins to become distant from his girlfriend Julia, played by Matilda Lutz, after watching the infamous Deadly videotape the series is known for. Schnepp Byersell, Paramount Pitch, Paramount, pushing rings back to sometime in 2016. Boy, I have to sell this. It, it feels like pushing it back to sometime straight to DVD, just straight sometime to Xbox. Sometime straight to DVD. Uh, they have the perfect release date. It was like right around Halloween. I mean, it's a horror film. This is the perfect time to release something called Rings. Unless the movie blows. It's six weeks before they're supposed to come out, and all of a sudden they just got cold feet. What, are they going to push it for Oscars next year? <laughs> it just makes it makes no sense. Obviously, the movie's in the can. People right. have seen it. I think people have seen it, and that means something. Oh, we've seen it. Get it out of here. You know. Well, I'm going to buy it, actually, partially because of the reason you're saying. Here's the thing to me. We took a question on Movie Talk the other day where someone's like, hey, man, we haven't seen a trailer for Ben Hur yet. Should we be worried? And it's like Ben Hur's five months sure. away. Let's, Rings is six weeks away, and we haven't seen a trailer. We haven't seen anything. So to me, this is a, clearly a message: we're not ready. Uh, we 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 think there are issues with the film. We're working on. We're doing something. Whatever. They didn't even release a trailer for this thing right. yet. So if that's the state of your movie right now, now. It did say it's an indeterminate amount of time, but a lot of the reports I read say it's most likely going to be first quarter 2016. But if you're to the point in your preparation of this film that you're not, you haven't even put out a trailer yet and you're six weeks away. I mean, I agree with you. November was a good time for it, but clearly something changed. They're not ready for it. We've seen no trailers. It probably would have been a mistake, I think, to stick with the November 16th release date. So for those reasons, even though I completely agree with what you're saying, I'm going to buy the move. I think it's a smart thing to do. I could buy or sell this thing because going off both your points, but I'm going to also buy it because, but agreeing with you that they probably looked at this as that this thing stinks. Um, but let's, I, th I buy the move to push it because try to work on it. Try to move. I mean, as far as if the, if the question is, and we're just speculating, just right, to speculate. Right, right. Yeah. And, and as far as like, maybe they do move it to Blu-ray. I'm still, I'm still buying it off the fact of a business decision because if they can look at it and if they feel maybe there's a property or something else, they don't want to spend the money on the marketing in November. They can save themselves some money and they can dump less and, and put it out in January. It's a smarter business decision because that way they don't have to lose some of the money. If they, if they can look at the property and they, Paramount's been doing it well, they've, had, they've, they've been doing okay. Like as far as how to market their movies and they look back and they go, well, wait a minute. We can do one of two things here. We can wait. We can push it into, like you said, either Blu-ray or put it in January, not take as much of a loss in the marketing. Hopefully some people go, there's not much out in January. Right. Maybe we can get some people to see it there. Or they they say, we can get some rewrites on this thing. We get some reshoots. We can fix this thing up and maybe release it next year. Both possible. So that's why I'm buying the move because someone looked at it and said, it's not ready yet. So, mm -hmm. and, and they didn't, and there hasn't been a trailer or anything yet because they haven't wasted that money on marketing. So it's, it's, it's really, I buy it for, for the business sense. I want to buy it. I mean, I love the ring yeah. and I, I right. love the concept of it. It was really frightening when I saw it. I think it's a great series. I don't know what they're going to do. Nobody has a VHS. The people, uh, kids, VHS is a thing that was tape. <laughs> that was you had Physical to rewind it. Tape, yeah, it was weird. And tape. Uh, yeah, my laser like, disc. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know what. How how are they going to uh, have the ring? You know, the DVD, even DVD is like being fused out. It's yeah. on Blu-ray now. The little girls crawling out oh, on high def. Too soon. Just yeah, streaming, you yeah. know, just pop a pill. You've got a Blu-ray creature <laughs> inside your head. I don't know how they're going to do that, but it's a frightening idea that the little creepy girl from the you know the well is still around. What happens uh, when she comes out in 4K? 